Okay, today we're going to build a rocking foot pedal like you would see in a wah-wah or volume pedal or tone pedal or anything that you wanted to control with the motion of your foot. Uh, some simple 3D printed parts, six parts. And let's see, this is the part that your foot is actually going to rest on. In order to uh, make this all work, we print this one art gear which we're going to glue into the slot so let's do that so that can be uh, setting up I'm gonna use the weld on number 16 because it actually melts PLA they become one the glue joint will not break the plastic around the glue joint will break before the glue joint breaks because they've actually melted to become one and it's very fast setting much better than a super glue now this piece is going to get glued onto the top of this frame but first and it doesn't have to be first but since I'd already done it I had selected a pot for my particular project I want to use this rocking foot control to control my Leslie if you followed the Leslie build for my orange amp this is going to give me a way to continuously control the speed of the Leslie so I've already put in the appropriate trim pot for that and tightened it up because it's just easier with nothing on there but there's a, a small gear that you would push on the shaft and why not do it now while it's all out in the open like that. Got a little bit of fuzzies and furries on there from the printing. So the next step, let's move that out of the way and move the backing off out of the way. Next step is going to be to take this and to glue it to the top of this whole frame like that. The easiest way to do that is going to be to put the glue on the frame top because it's so wide. And you could use this thing to control anything that a pot could control. You had a delay line you like to use and you could control the rate, the speed. You could build a fuzz box and control the mix between clean and dirty. You could make a tone pedal, a volume pedal, a boost pedal. You could control a tremolo or vibrato. If you had a pitch transposer, you could control the, the pitch. In this case, I'm going to control a Leslie. And heck, you could control lighting with it. Again, anything that a, a rotary pot or small encoder will normally control, you could control with your foot by 3D printing this case. And I think this stuff will be setting up real quick. Okay, to uh, pin the uh, foot top part onto here, and here in America, this is just a quarter inch rod stock, which I grossly cut. I could have done a much neater job. But that's going to slide through to pin these things together. And for example, let's just pretend this top piece was on right now because it's easier for me to show you. The idea is that I'm going to go in from the bottom and in that hole I can put a little drop of, of glue or hot melt or anything to keep the rod from, from moving. That'll hold the rod in place so you don't lose your setting. Okay, I'm going to rotate this thing all the way counterclockwise as if this had done its job. Not 100% sure on the setting. I don't think I'm in the right tooth yet. So let's let's check that. I'm checking to see if I'm getting my full throw on the pot and I believe I am so again now is when I would insert this rod and there we have it so all I gotta do now is put a little bit of something down there to hold that rod captive yeah I could have made little caps to glue on the end to keep the rod from coming out but frankly I think this is a uh, 
a little cleaner look than adding something to the side. I'm looking for something on like a little screwdriver so I can put a little glob of this goop down in there. Nice thing about using a little glob of goop or hot melt glue or anything like that is if you wanted to take it apart later, you can dig that out. Whereas if I glued caps on the side, cosmetically it doesn't look as good and if you had to yank the caps off, you're going to make it look even worse. Okay. Then, there is a bottom plate and it uh, is not symmetrical. It only fits correctly one way and you'll know when you got it right because the holes will line up with the holes. So, that is the way this one would fit. And it, right now it's set up for some number two screws to screw that on. I have no reason to want to screw it on right now because I'm going to wire in my Leslie cable as soon as this video is done. But, because the screw heads will stick up just a little bit, and that could uh, scratch a flow or make the thing slippery, I suggest you just get some of this anti-slip. This is stuff is dirt cheap. You can buy in almost in any store. They put it in shelves to keep cups and things from moving. They put it under carpet to keep uh, small carpets from slipping around on hardwood floors. It's uh, very flexible. You could just do some uh, spray glue on it and put that right on the bottom like that. And then the bottom of this thing would be not moving. And even though I do not think it's necessary, if you had slippery feet, you could put a piece of it on the uh, on the top. It also comes in different colors. I just happen to have some green here left. So you could put some anti-slip skid on there too. So there you have it. A rocking foot pedal control that you can build and use for any purpose you want. The files will be up on Thingiverse. I'll put a link down below.